Alright, what is going on everybody? It's John here and I am back with another commentary and today I want to talk about Black Ops Cold War Zombies and the reveal trailer we got for it earlier this week. That's right guys, we finally got the Black Ops Cold War Zombies reveal trailer and let me start off by saying that this trailer was absolutely outstanding. I will be playing it in the background throughout this video but pretty much every aspect about this trailer was amazing. The gameplay, the graphics, the cinematics, the colors, my goodness this was a colorful trailer. The music, I've been loving the 80s vibe that Treyarch has been giving us with their song choices these past trailers and much more. In fact, this trailer is looking so good that if SPMM remains a huge problem in multiplayer, I might have to revert back to being a good old zombies player. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing guys. I'm still gonna play multiplayer obviously, but I'm for sure without a doubt going to be playing a lot of zombies this year, a lot more than I did in the previous year on Black Ops 4. By the way, don't get me wrong guys, I enjoyed Black Ops 4 zombies, it was a lot of fun, but I did not like some of the new changes they made to it. Like for example, replacing the OG perk system for the new perk system, that was not really my treat. I didn't like the new perk system, but knowing that the OG perk system is making a return in Black Ops Cold War Zombies, just take my money. On top of that, it seems that the majority of the community is receiving this trailer as a treasure. We took a look at the Black Ops Cold War Zombies reveal trailer like to dislike ratio. The likes completely outnumber the dislikes. We have 174,000 likes and 3,500 dislikes as of recording this video. And then if we take a look at the Black Ops Cold War Zombies first look video that was uploaded by Call of Duty, we have 221,000 likes and 5,100 dislikes. So again, likes completely outnumber the dislikes. We even got some popular streamers and YouTubers saying that they might even become zombie YouTubers or streamers this year because it just looks so good. So yeah, I thought I mentioned that just to clarify how well received the trailer was by the community and it almost seems like everybody is hyped for zombies more than multiplayer at this point. But of course, it doesn't end there. After the trailer, Treyarch tweeted this, which I will go ahead and put this up on the screen, but it looks like we got a bunch of information on what to expect for Black Ops Cold War Zombies. First, we got crossplay, which is huge because this is the first time ever that we get crossplay for zombies in any Call of Duty game. Finally, you're going to be able to play with your friends that are on a different console than you. You could be on PS4 and you could have a friend or two on Xbox and another friend on PC and it's going to be no problem anymore because you guys can all play together now. This is going to be very very good for matchmaking as well because sometimes it does take a little long to fill up a lobby on zombies and it's mainly when you're looking for people specifically with mics and with crossplay turned on, you have everybody on PS4, Xbox, and PC, and that is obviously going to add a lot more variety. Not to mention, no one is going to have a higher advantage in zombies. This is not multiplayer where, oh yeah, if you're on PC, you have better aim, you could easily kill people, you have better movement, FOV, all that kind of stuff compared to console. No. This is zombies. We don't <laughs> we don't got to worry about none of that. We got cross gen which is very good because let's say you stay on PS4 and for whatever reason you're not able to get the Xbox Series X or the PS5 just yet and you got friends that already got the PS5 or the Xbox Series X. You don't need to worry about this because you will still be able to play with them. We got cross progression which is another huge addition because we are now going to be able to rank up weapons for multiplayer on zombies. For example, if you have a level 1 MP5 and you level the up to level 8 or level 10 or something like that on zombies it's also going to be a level 10 on multiplayer it's pretty much like the cross progression in modern warfare where you can level up weapons and spec ops and it'll count towards multiplayer as well but only this time around it's going to be zombies so that's amazing that might even be a better way to level up your weapons faster because obviously if you got hordes of zombies running at you and you're killing them with one weapon you're bound to level it up a lot another huge addition which wow i cannot believe we're actually getting this we didn't get it back in black ops Forward, but this time we will and that is battle pass progression you will now be able to rank up tiers in the battle pass by playing zombies and oh my goodness guys do you have any idea how great this is going to be a lot of people like to play warzone to rank up faster in the battle pass since those are longer games they can take from about 10 to 30 minutes per game so imagine zombies this is going to be game changing imagine you survive for two to three hours 
you will probably level up 10 tiers, maybe even more, after just playing one game. Not only that, but this is going to be very nice for zombie players that primarily play zombies since they will now have another reason to continue surviving for longer periods of time since the longer you survive, the more you will rank up in the battle pass. It really sucked back on Black Ops 4 how you can survive for 10 hours in one zombies match and you wouldn't be able to level up just one tier or even get a little bit of XP, just one XP to rank up a tier. Another huge addition which pretty much all of the information has been pretty big as of right now but we are also going to be getting upgradable perks. Now I'm not exactly sure what that means. I don't know if we're going to be getting pro perks back from Black Ops 1 which instead of doing it on multiplayer we will not be able to have them on zombies. Maybe we're going to be able to get more than 4 perks. Normally that would be the limit. 4 perks unless you did an easter egg to get an extra perk or got a gobble gum that would let you get an extra perk. Which speaking about that there is going going to be no perk limit in Black Ops Cold War Zombies and that is great news. Once you get 4 perks, that is not it. You can continue getting more. You can get 9 perks, 10 perks or however many perks there will be. I'm really glad about this change. We no longer have to rely on only having 4 perks every game unless you do an easter egg set to get a free perk or chew up a gobblegum that will give you a free perk. We can now get as many as we want. But I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see what upgradable perks really are. Maybe you could pack a bunch of perks. I I don't know. We got gunsmith loadouts which means that we're not going to be able to start with our loadouts on round one. We're not going to be starting with a pistol no more. Personally I'm fine with this. I know a lot of people in the zombies community had an uproar because they were saying that oh no we need to start with the pistol like the OG zombies. I don't want to start with my own loadout already. No no no. I understand where you guys are coming from. I do enjoy starting with just a pistol and having to earn points, get the mystery box or buy a wall buy or something. That is a lot of fun but I don't really mind if we can start with like an AK-47, maybe an RPG, I don't know, any weapon we want. We have weapon varieties which I'm guessing we're going to have all of the multiplayer weapons on zombies and a couple extra weapons that are not available in multiplayer. This is nothing new, we've seen this in the past, on Black Ops 4 we had a couple weapons that were only available on zombies, not multiplayer. On Black Ops 2, many weapons like the M1927, the MP40, etc. <laughs> All of these weapons weren't available in multiplayer, only zombies. We got field upgrades coming, which I don't think those are going to be the field upgrades for multiplayer, like the Sam turret, the field mic, the jammer. No, those don't have a purpose in zombies. Instead, I think those are going to be special abilities. Like, for example, you might be able to run faster, increase damage, etc. Kind of like in Black Ops 3 zombies and Black Ops 4 zombies, where you have a special ability, and by killing zombies, you will charge it up, and once it was fully charged, you were able to use it and just have fun. We got support weapons which is going to be very interesting. That is basically the chopper gunner we saw in the trailer. You're going to be able to call a chopper gunner in and kill a bunch of zombies along with other streaks I imagine. I'm also fine with this since we've never seen anything like this in the past so that's interesting but I wonder how it's going to work. Are we going to be invincible when we call in a chopper gunner especially if we're playing zombies solo or what? I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about this as well. Some people love the idea, some people hated the idea but again I personally don't really mind this change or addition, I just hope that this doesn't make the game super easy, you know, I still want that level of difficultness. But from a different standpoint, that's pretty dope. We're gonna be able to use the chopper gunner and zombies, <laughs> who would have ever thought. And that includes sentry guns, maybe even an RCXD, I mean, that's cool. We got optional expo, which means you're basically gonna be able to end the game without dying. So it states, instead of perishing to the horde, Black Ops Cold War Zombies provides a new option to escape with your life when you're feeling overrun. If the whole squad is in trouble, you can opt to exfiltrate the undead combat zone via helicopter. Although zombie spawns will be dialed up to 11, you should expect to earn some rewards if your squad completes this final push to survive. So basically, instead of just killing yourself, you could choose to call in a helicopter to leave the map and get to safety, which will conclude the game. But by doing this, be advised that zombie spawns will get crazy. It says that it will be dialed up to 11, so I'm guessing that instead of just a couple zombies spawning, you're probably gonna have like more than a hundred zombies spawning at once. We have intel tracking, which I'm not exactly sure what this means, but I'm guessing this is just the tracking of how many kills you have with a weapon, how many headshots you have with a weapon, what's your score per minute with that weapon, what's your highest round on a specific map, etc. I'm pretty sure this applies to completing an easter egg. If you complete an easter egg on a map, that will also track. So yeah, if you guys know what this exactly means, let me know in the comments down below. And 
finally, one of the greatest ones, free post-launch content. For the first time ever, we are going to be getting new zombie maps for free. You will not need to pay 15 bucks for that new zombie map, five bucks, 10 bucks. You will not need a Black Ops Pass. No, you're just gonna have it for free. My goodness, guys, that is amazing. That is absolutely amazing because not only is that going to be great for everybody, but that is going to make lobbies on newer maps fill up a lot faster. That would be a huge problem, especially on older Black Ops games like Black Ops 3 Zombies where not many people are playing it as much as they used to back then. But if you try to play on one of the newer maps, you won't really find a lobby that quick because not everybody has that map. They have either not paid for it or don't have the season pass. Not to mention the lower player count, that is going to make everything worse. So now that every new map is going to be free, this is going to make the lobbies fill up quicker than ever and put crossplay with that, it's over. So yeah guys, Zombies is looking to be one of the biggest modes if not the biggest mode for Black Ops Cold War this year. It might even be bigger than multiplayer and I don't know if I want to say Warzone just yet because Warzone is free to play and Zombies isn't but it could be close since it seems like the majority of the community is more hyper zombies and multiplayer. Like I said guys, I will be playing zombies a lot more this year, way more than I did back on Black Ops 4, and you bet that I'm gonna be streaming zombies as well. Hopefully by that time, I will have my new streaming setup ready. But anyways guys, that is pretty much all I wanted to talk about for Black Ops Cold War Zombies and the trailer, so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and turn on post notifications so you guys are notified every single time when I upload. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about the Black Ops Cold War Zombies reveal trailer. Are you guys more excited for zombies and multiplayer? Maybe not. Maybe it was a little disappointing. Was it hype inducing? Anything, let me know. Based on the trailer, I am ready to go back and play some zombies. It's been a couple months since I played one match of zombies, so I'm fully refreshed and ready to go back. And this is Treyarch we're talking about. Based Basically, the godfather of zombies. So that makes me even more hyped than, oh my goodness, guys, November 13th. I just cannot wait. But for the last time, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't done it, make sure to drop a like and hope you guys have a nice and wonderful Sunday. And without that being said, it's been John, ready to play some zombies, and I'm out. Peace.